UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is meeting with President Biden at the White House today. Yesterday, Sunak kicked off his two-day trip to Washington. He met with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Senate leaders. His trip comes as the UK is predicted to have the third highest inflation rate in the world. Let's bring in John Quelch now. He's the former dean of the Miami Herbert Business School at the University of Miami. Dean, thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Vlad. So what is Sunak uh, looking to achieve during this trip to Washington? What kinds of uh, the concessions, I guess, uh, from the United States is he looking to help ease inflationary pressures in Britain? Uh, I'm not sure that uh, concessions from the U.S. are going to help uh, U.K. inflation, which is currently running at 6.9%, uh, the highest among all G7 uh, countries, higher than Germany, higher than France. Uh, the main reason for that, uh, Vlad, is that uh, post-Brexit, uh, there's still supply chain problems affecting uh, imports of food and energy into the UK. Uh, the UK depends for about half of its uh, food on imports and about a third of its energy, uh, a much higher dependency than uh, in the United States, for example. Um, the president uh, can't really help in that regard, but where they're going to look for cooperation and further dialogue is obviously uh, collaboration on dealing with the Ukraine conflict, uh, but also more broadly, I think the issue of artificial intelligence, which uh, is uh, a great concern to uh, individual as well as national security. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the UK and the US being long term collaborators in the defense arena, uh, they're going to be talking uh, quite extensively about how to deal collaboratively with that particular challenge. Right. I think uh, Sunak is going to be holding sort of like an, uh, a summit on artificial intelligence and moving forward. Um, but he's also meeting with business leaders in the U.S. Uh, I would think that's kind of the natural relationship for the U.K., the, the relationships, business relationships would be in the EU, a little more challenging in the U.S. just because of geography. But what's what areas would he be finding sort of uh, fertile ground? Uh, so, as, as you correctly say, Anne-Marie, uh, post-Brexit, the UK is no longer quite as attractive as it used to be as the gateway into European continent markets for US companies. So, the UK has got to up its game further in terms of attraction to US inbound investment. The areas that uh, Sunak is especially interested in, I think, are all technology-related areas, uh, especially in uh, sectors such as defense, uh, pharma and uh, life sciences and medical devices, where the UK is pretty strong, uh, and also in uh, environmental technology and financial services. Uh, those are the, largely the growth sectors um, in all uh, major industrial economies these days, and uh, important that the UK have uh, an edge in the US market to attract more than its fair share of inbound investment into Europe. Uh, so, as you rightly pointed out, uh, Dean, uh, inflation in the United Kingdom continues to grow. Uh, for Americans who might be wondering, we know in the United States the role the Federal Reserve plays in the money supply. How does it work in Britain, and what can uh, what can the the, 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 the the I guess what kind of government controls can be put into place mm -hmm. to help slow inflation down? Uh, understood. Uh, so, Vlad, uh, the Bank of England operates uh, similarly to the Federal Reserve in the United States. Uh, there are quarterly meetings with interest rate uh, adjustments, uh, potentially. And uh, what we're going to see is, I think, uh, more pressure in the UK than there is in the US at the moment uh, for a further increase of 25 basis points the next time round. And it may be uh, particularly because uh, Prime Minister Sunak has promised the UK public that he will halve inflation this year. Uh, he can't afford to take his foot off the pedal when it comes to rate increases uh, to uh, try and get inflation under control. Um, the key problem he has, though, is that with an election coming up in 2024, as is the case in the US, but in the UK, uh, public sector unions are extremely important and powerful and are threatening all sorts of strike action. 
Uh, and um, what we're going to see is pressure from them for wage increases in response to the existing price inflation. And that, of course, can further fuel further inflation. So I would say overall, Prime Minister Sunak has a tougher challenge economically, uh, frankly, than President Biden and the U.S. Yeah, he's got his work cut out for him. Uh, John Quelch, thank you very much. My pleasure.